Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a health bell, hello. I thought I'd film somewhere different today. It's uh, a nice day. It's uh, kind of overcast, but bright, you know, that kind of weather. Um, but next week, the forecast is, is not good. So I thought I'd make the most of it. I'm down at the cabin. I can't like film in the cabin because it's still got some of Katie's stuff in there. So I'm gonna try, I'll have to see how it works out, filming in the garden. So I'll have a little go and see if it works. Um, and if it doesn't, I'll have to go back indoors. So um, I hope you're all well, uh, everything's good here. Um, kids are finishing school today actually for um, the summer holidays so that's nice it's kind of always gets more relaxed doesn't it I mean I know I'm the grandmother but you know I sort of help and um, hopefully I get to see more of them over the holidays so so that's lovely um, I need to refer again to the little video I did about um, IBS and the reaction to that video has probably been bigger as in comments than any other video I've done and uh, I think uh, I think last count there was nearly 400 there might be 400 by now which is kind of scary if you think of the cross-section of people you know the demographic who who watch my videos then and then you take that down to the subscribers and then you take that down to the people who comment and so so many of you suffer a lot i mean more than me i have to say i mean mine is an inconvenience and occasionally um an emergency situation not emergency urgency situation it's not an emergency. <laughs> but um but it feels like an emergency to me but uh, anyway and some of you ladies are, are really kind of restricted in what you can do in your lives, which I think is really terribly sad. And um, I'm sorry to hear that, but I have been thoroughly checked. You know, I, I've had um, two colonoscopies and I always do my um, bowel screening tests and all of that stuff. So I know that I'm okay. And it's definitely triggered by certain foods on certain days and it's not stress related for me but anyway i don't want to go on about me i just want to say i'm really sorry that so many of you suffer so badly and if you haven't been back to your doctor and i know it's difficult at the moment but you know push push for a diagnosis because um it, it shouldn't be doing that to your lives really it's, it's all i want to say on that so um yeah thank you uh secondly what was i gonna say I've forgotten. <laughs> That's the beauty of having uh, notes, isn't it? Or not having notes in my case. So I've got a um, George, no, not George, two at Sainsbury's Hall today. It's not a massive hall because I think we're getting to that in between seasons thing. So, um, but what I've got does look nice. And um, so I'll, I'll get on and show you that in a second. I'm trying to think what it was that I, that I was going to say. Oh, I'm sorry. Absolutely hopeless. I've got a lot on my head at the on my head in my head at the moment with one thing and another. Um, so I will crack on with that video and uh, let's see how it goes. I've, as usual, I haven't tried any of it on already, so it might be a disaster, darling. But um, fingers crossed that it isn't. So I'll um, get that on now. I've just had to vacuum up quite a few spiders in the cabin because I haven't been down here for months. It was full of Katie's stuff when she was moving and then it gets to the stage where I don't want to see what needs doing to be honest with you so um, hopefully no spiders come out in the making of this video because you'll probably hear the scream from there so uh, I'll see you in a second this first dress is um, size 18 everything's size 18 unless I say otherwise I'm five foot six for those who haven't seen me before um, this is I think it's rather nice actually it's pure cotton and it's got kind of a bit of a different print on it it's quite kind of 
ethnic in its in its look i think it's got a good length puff sleeve and they're a raglan sleeve so oh they're those um like puff bally ones again a lot of them are doing those i think they're very flattering it's got the nice fitted um high waist and it was just pull on so it's not lined or anything and uh, i don't know if i said it's 25 pound i'll link everything in the description box down below and uh it's a nice length i'll show you hasn't got too much fabric in it so it's not overly you know overly big which I think is more flattering so it's a good length I think it would iron up really nicely it's got navy terracotta mustard pink lots of colors in it which makes it easy to um, accessorize so yeah I, I think that's a jolly nice dress and it's not thin thin the fabric is a decent decent weight fabric it's got almost like um can you see the kind of weave effect i hope you can see well enough i know it makes a change to do it in the garden but um i thought it might be more interesting so that's uh dress number well there's only one dress so that's the first thing and this next one is a suit a cream suit and uh, it's all it's polyester with a touch of elastane i think and the jacket's 28 pounds and the trousers are 20 pounds now i think this looks pretty high end if i'm honest um i got the jacket in an 18 and it fits perfectly the trousers i bought in a 20 and i could have got an 18 their sizes are very generous it's um too big around my waist actually so um there we are flashing my boobs because i haven't got a top down here but i don't know i can't really see because i've got a very good mirror down here but I, I think this looks pretty good for 48 pounds don't you I think this looks like that look could make a lovely wedding outfit, wouldn't it? Which could just put a little um <coughs> bless me. Um little camisole under it or a shirt or you know you could put a navy shirt under it, that'd look fab. Um or I've got a lily silk blouse that I'm showing you in another collection um that would look great under this. It's it's black with um ivory spots on it and it's got really fancy sleeves. So I am mightily impressed with this jacket. I think that looks really sophisticated. And if you wore it with the right accessories, you wouldn't know that it hadn't cost a hundred pounds. That's my humble opinion. Well done Sainsbury's. Classy. I like it, but I don't need it. I do like it, but the trousers are too big, so that's good. <laughs> and I don't need another ivory jacket, do I? Because I've got that boucle one. Although this is, um, if this is washable, you never know, it might find its way into my wardrobe. So uh, I haven't opened the pockets for obvious reasons, but uh, the sleeves aren't too long, don't have to do anything there. Double breasted covered buttons as well, so not cheap buttons. Excelente. Stop flashing my boobies. Bit of a boob on my part because I didn't bring a shirt down to try and with this Sheila, but I thought I'd show it to you anyway. It's 32 pounds. And uh, you might remember I got one from um, Primark last summer and I didn't know if I'd wear it. And I actually wore it all the time. I mean, obviously with uh, something underneath the jumper, but 
just perfect for going to the shops or something when you don't need a big coat. And this one is very nicely made. It's got pockets, it's buttoned through so it's not zip and um, it's a good length. So it's not cheap, cheap, but then it's really nice. So it doesn't have to be cheap, cheap, does it? Um, looks a bit ridiculous with my cream trousers, but uh, they're all I've got down here. So um, I need to crack on. I think these are so useful. This is a lovely colour. Oh, I was going to about to undo it all then. I won't do that. But um, they're just enough to keep you warm. Um, but, you know, not too much if, you, you, you know, if you're not standing at a bus stop on it, most of the time, you don't need anything that's super warm, do you? So, um, yeah, just two more things to show you. And one of those is a swimsuit, so wish me luck. And this, ladies, is why I wear a two-piece, because I've got such a long body. I don't know what's going on with these things here. I don't know if they fold it over or, or what, but they're like just like these little half pieces. But this is a 20, but I can't, if I get it high enough to lift my boobs up, because the straps are adjustable, it cuts me in half down below, but I do like a white swimsuit. I think if you've got a bit of a tan, I'm dead worried somebody's gonna walk in the house. Um, if you've got a bit of a tan, I think they look nice. You know, we shouldn't hide away in black all the time. Black, black, black. When you've got black on in the sun, it's so hot. So this has got a lovely design on it. And if you haven't got a really long body, this is only 18 pounds. I think this is fabulous. I've got one coming from Next, which is a 220 pound swimsuit, which is still 95 pounds. But I'm gonna see if it's fantastic, I might buy it because, you know, it would last for a long time, I believe. I did have a Gotex one that was fabulous. So I've got it on with a sarong. You can see it's, I mean, their sizes are really generous, I have to say. Um, and I could hoik these up, but then like I say, it'd be hoiking me up where I don't want to be hoiked up, if you pardon the expression. So, um, but for 18 pounds, I think that's a jolly good swimsuit. I'm, I need to sort those things out. I don't know if they're, anyway, whatever, I'm not keeping it because it just doesn't work for me, the proportions. And the other thing I'd say about this sarong, which is just, 10 pounds it's really generous you know some of them well but you know this one i could actually wear as a dress and most of them i simply couldn't so i'll quickly get changed in case anybody walks around the corner and then i'll, I'll wrap up this video so uh, that's today's video finished in a state of high alert because i feel so vulnerable down here there's nowhere to hide if someone walks around the side of the house because in the countryside that's what people do like at, where I used to live I knew said at home this is my home now where I used to live um, nobody would dream of walking in the back garden but I think it's a kind of country thing people if you're not if you're not in they assume you're in the garden which is quite nice in a way but it does make you feel a bit Ooh. anyway um, I hope you've enjoyed that little haul it wasn't massive because like I say I think it's um, in between seasons right now but it's turned into a lovely day and um, I hope that you all have a nice weekend um, and I'm not sure what I'm doing next oh I've got I've got a few bits from the next clearance oh talking of which that's where this dress is from I know everyone always asks me where I got things that I'm wearing and um, this is one that I bought for the cruise I think I wore it yeah I think I wore it so um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to say. Thank you as ever. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.